In this video, I'm going to give you some hints on how to easily sign into Clear Triage and how to easily switch between Clear Triage and your EHR. So let's start with signing into Clear Triage. There are a few EHR companies that have worked with Clear Triage to provide a button or link within the EHR to automatically sign you into Clear Triage. Office Practicum is one of those EHR companies, as is Athena Health. So if you're using one of those EHRs, it's very simple to sign into Clear Triage. But for those of you that aren't, there are a number of different ways to make it easy to get into Clear Triage at the beginning of the day. Many people start with a very simple way of signing in. They go to the Clear Triage website and choose Sign In and select Existing Users. And that takes you to the Clear Triage sign in page. Another very effective way of signing into Clear Triage is to just start typing app.cleartriage.com. Chances are you'll only need to type the first couple letters and then press enter or return and that will take you to the sign in page. Another way to do it is to add Clear Triage to your bookmarks or your favorites depending on which browser you're using. So let me show you here within Chrome. I'm going to go to bookmarks. I can see that I have Clear Triage here. I can click on that to start Clear Triage. Or my favorite way of doing it is to have the bookmarks bar or the favorites bar showing. And here I'll put some of the websites that I use most commonly. So here I have Clear Triage showing. I can just click on it and that will automatically take me to the sign in page. Once you're on the sign in page, you can type your name, your practice ID, and your password. And then you may want to click Remember Me. So that way, when I sign in, I'm in Clear Triage. But if I sign out, those two things are filled in for me. If a different person comes along, they can switch their name, but they don't need to type the practice ID again. Some browsers will even offer to remember the password for you. Feel free to do that as well. I'd like to show you in Internet Explorer just a slightly different version of this. Here you can see I have what Internet Explorer calls a favorites bar. Let's say, for example, that Clear Triage wasn't there. If I went to Clear Triage's sign in page, I can then add that to my favorites bar by clicking the button here. If your favorites bar is not showing, it will be in your options, or you can right click to show the favorites bar. And again, this is where I click to add Clear Triage, and I can always rename that. If you have any problems getting Clear Triage onto your favorites or bookmark bar, ask your IT support or the person who usually helps you with your computer, and they should be able to get that set up. And once it's there, it's just a single button to click on to launch Clear Triage. The other piece I want to talk about is how to easily switch between your EMR and Clear Triage. So let's say we're using Epic as our EHR. And I also have Clear Triage here. I'll go ahead and sign in. And so I finished the call and I want to switch. I can switch between the two using the taskbar here at the bottom to switch between my EMR and Clear Triage. Another way of doing that is to use Alt-Tab on Windows. So hold down the Alt key and press the tab. Or on the Macintosh, press Command-Tab to switch between programs. You can also arrange the windows so that you can see them both and just click on the one that you want to use. So for instance, I can take my EMR and I can put it over on this side. And I can take Clear Triage and put it over on the other side. A nice hint on Windows is if you hold down the Windows key and press the right arrow, it will go over and fill up the right part of the screen. And I can drag it out and make it a little bit bigger here. Now I can see Clear Triage and Epic, and I can switch back and forth between them. The easiest way to switch between your EHR and Clear Triage is actually to have two monitors. If you don't have two monitors already, it's not a very expensive addition to the computer. And then you can have Clear Triage on one monitor always showing, and your EHR on the other monitor always showing. So those are some tips and hints about signing into Clear Triage. 
and switching between clear triage and your EHR. I hope those are helpful.